Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Matthew chapter six, verse nine. It reads as follows. This then is how you should pray. Our father in heaven, hallowed be your name. A lot of times when we become Christians, when we first start our walks with the Lord, we hear about morning devotional time or morning prayer time, starting our day off right. But when we go about doing it, we kind of maybe sometimes get a little tripped up because we don't know exactly what to do. I mean, what should be involved? You know, maybe how long should it be? What should I do exactly in devoting this time to the Lord and trying to start my day off right to God? I actually think we see how to do so in our verses today. Our verse starts out the Lord's Prayer, and it's the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples when they asked him, teach us how to pray. He gives them this prayer. And it's one that we kind of memorize as a kid, or maybe we you know, kind of just, you know, just automatically say before going to bed. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. On the surface, the prayer is phenomenal. It does sort of encapsulate everything that we can sort of pray you know, in this one sort of little perfect prayer that we can offer up to the Lord. But these verses that we find in Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13, they aren't just about the words themselves, the surface words. They are much deeper than that. This prayer tells us, yes, what to pray, but it also acts as a guide in how to pray and how we can sort of develop our own personal prayer time with the Lord. In a way, there are four parts to this prayer that we can learn from and glean from when we're developing our own personal times with God. The first starts out with our Father before we make any requests, before we bring our kind of laundry list of things that we need and we want, before we bring and cry out our problems to God. No, we stop and we recognize God first. He is holy. He is good. We want his will to be done more than ours. We want him first. We want to praise him. We want to honor him. We praise the Lord first. We usher that presence in, usher him in, invite him in with our praise. The next two sentences then show us what we can do next. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive others. This is where we can present our requests before the Lord. This is where we can make our petition. We ask him for what's on our heart. We ask him for what we need. We ask him to help us in our spiritual state. Yes, that we, you know, just like we receive forgiveness, we are constantly forgiving others of their sins. We ask him for what we need after we've praised him, after we've put him first. And then we ask for his protection. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And we finish everything with praise again. But yours is the kingdom the power of the glory forever and ever. Amen. We petition him for, yes, we ask him for protection. We ask him for that covering and protection from the evil one. And then we praise him and bring it full circle all over again. In my personal morning prayers and devotional time, I have taken Matthew you know, 6, the Lord's Prayer, and honestly just kind of developed a little structure of my own and how I go about and you know just spend that time with God. And again, we sort of see it in our verse. We see praise, we see petition, we see protection, and we see praise again. When I spend my time with God, I first, I praise him. I sing a worship song or some songs to him. I invite his presence in. I praise him. And next, I pray about what's on my heart. I tell him how I'm feeling, what's going on. I pray for people. I pray for what's going on in my life. I'm petitioning him. And then I ask for his protection by reading his word. If I'm walking and you know, exercising while I'm doing this, I'm listening to his word on my audio Bible, but his word protects us. I'm seeking his protection. And then I end it all with praising him again because he's good, because he's worthy. Friends, when you set about spending your personal time with the Lord, maybe take the Lord's prayer as your blueprint. Yes, you can absolutely say the Lord's prayer to him. In and of itself, it's a perfect prayer, but you can also use it as a blueprint to just kind of individualize your own time. You are praising him, you are petitioning him, you are seeking his protection, and you are praising him all over again. This, of course, can look different. It can be different. You might have a different way of doing things, but the matter is the heart and us spending that time with the Lord, you know, seeking him first for everything that we need. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you, Lord, for just prayer, God, that we, God, these created beings, God, we get to come before the God of the universe, the holy, righteous, you know, omnipotent, omnipresent, 
you know, just God of the universe. And we get to spend time with you, God, and you want that, God. We get to, or of course, we're going to praise you. You are amazing. You are awesome and you are good. But we also get to petition you, God. We get to seek your protection. We get to learn your ways, Lord, to safeguard our lives, God. And yes, we get to praise you again. We thank you, God, for your prayer that is perfect, Lord, the Lord's prayer. And we also thank you, God, that, yes, Lord, you are so incredible, God. There are just multi-facets of every part of scripture, Lord, and we can use this to help us as a guide in spending our time with you. We love you, God. We honor you, God, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it. And I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.